It's the network. On the book, digital book, I think it's uh, Master of Music Networking Online, that one. Um, Sean, Sean was talking about uh, LinkedIn. So like, when that, like in my experiences using LinkedIn, like, it, like off, right off the bat, of course, it's meant for like professionals and shit. And they were talking about the part where uh, there's like A and R's in the, in the search. Mm -hmm. And and like, what would be like the best way to like set up a LinkedIn page for your personal brand? Like, would you have to make it look, um, I guess, corporate type stuff? Or like, do you make it like to the style of how like you'd have your Instagram or Twitter? No, you would definitely want it to be a lot more businessy. So LinkedIn, you got to think about the type of people that are on LinkedIn. They don't, they don't care about your cool pictures. They don't care about, you know, so well, to an extent, like they want to see things like that, but it's, it's a lot more, very similar to what I was talking about with the influencers. It's a lot more like um, bottom line kind of thing. Like, what do you do on a professional level? Is your business well put together? Are you the type of person where, you know, um, well, we can do a lot of B2B and I, I feel pretty comfortable and have good faith in it. So it's just a matter of, I mean, from an a, a artist standpoint, I would say um, how on Instagram you would kind of show off a lot more of like your personality, like you want your fans to see mm -hmm. on the back end or something like that. It would just be communicating information to these people or uh, posting information to let these people know you have like a solid understanding of like the business. So maybe doing like small case studies on certain things you've done to like build yourself out um, or even down to uh, kind of having it like portfolio style. So the, the main thing you want to do is like optimizing your page out really. You want a clean profile picture, something professional, something clean. It doesn't have to be like you in a suit and tie, but you don't want it to be like, you know, like you posted up bottle in your hand, something crazy like that. Something that, something that if a, something that if a, you know, um, a chief, a chief financial officer of Atlantic came across your profile. He may not be the A&R, but he knows the A&R's at, at Atlantic, right? But he will be more likely to communicate with you because you look like someone he wants to talk to. Um, and then, of course, you want any accolades, anything that, anything that makes you stand out. Um, you want to list that on your page, listing skills. Like, you want it to be listed the exact same way you would do it as if you were going for a job interview just for, like, a regular nine to five. You just want to tailor it towards, like, the kind of things that like people in the music industry would care about. Um, but a lot of that, to be honest with you, like a lot of those guys, um, they're there to do business, right? LinkedIn is the place where business professionals come meet with each other to potentially talk about business stuff. We, they, it, back to, we want to know how we can help each other make money. Um, so even just like reaching out to people, it's always good to have like examples. So like a portfolio in the sense, just of here, here are, here are my, you know, um, here are my three best marketing campaigns around myself. This is what I was able to generate. This is the type of attention I was able to generate. This is the numbers I was able to get, the viewership I was able to bring in. This is how much I was able to retain, how much money I was able to make off of it, all that stuff, and then package it neatly in like a proposal type thing. And then just people, that when you come across people who um, you feel like can help you in some type of way, just use that to kick off the conversation. Because people on LinkedIn are usually pretty open to talking as long as you have something to talk about. It all comes down to how to tell you. You know, like, what, what, what's going to make you stand out from the thousand other artists that are reaching out to these professionals on LinkedIn is all all, all the other thousand going to be reaching out saying, yo, how can you help me? What can you do for me? You're going to be reaching out to them with examples and what you can do for them. Like, look, man, if we work together, if we're able to do business, this is what I will be able to help you guys with. Able to bring, this is how I'll be able to bring value. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I, I hope that helps. I know you asked about setting up the page per se, but it's really no, it's really no like special way, man. Like the main thing, like I said, you gotta have is just what can you do on there for like your skill set and examples, man. That's what matters the most. Because people, people talk all day, you know, especially on the internet. People set up things all the time. But when you have examples of work, when you're able to have proof of your work ethic and just the results that you've generated from it, that speaks, you know, way louder than just, I'm an artist, my music is lit, you know, or I can, I'm a producer and my beats is lit. It's like, okay, well, prove it to me. What did you do to show that this was lit? Like, how can you show me that your stuff is lit? At that point, like, would you present, like, a APK? <clears throat> um... EPKs for those who ask for it, so those would probably be a lot more um, beneficial to 
like people on the press side and maybe even like promoters who are on there. Um, promoters on everyone's on LinkedIn. Anyone that makes has to fill out a W two or you know file taxes off of their music business is on LinkedIn. Um, but it's I would say have an EPK on file. Um, like I said, just examples of just ways that you've been able to generate traffic for yourself. And then just like any accolades or anything like notable that has happened since you've been kind of doing what you're doing, just have those tucked away. Well, have them on your profile, easy to view, just like one click, uh, like where they can get to it very easily. Um, and then just always like kind of have them stashed away and ready to send out. So when you come across them, it, like it could benefit for you, like, you know, that's the kind of information they want to see. But a lot of people, like, if you're able to get those conversations started, um, most people are going to ask us, like, do you have a website? Do you have an EPK? Do you have um, or do you have something where I can see, like, you know, what you have going on?